Hi, welcome to Danny After Dark. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a notification or a new episode. Tonight will be part three in my ongoing series of my book recommendations. If you missed part one or part two, go back and check it out so you don't miss anything. Now, part three of my book recommendations. Let's go ahead and dive on in. The first book that I recommend tonight is Charles Manson Now by Marlon Marinek. This is a great book and actually one of my favorite Manson books because Marlon was in the field, the psychology field. He was a psychiatric nurse. So instantly I was drawn to this because I knew he was going to give a different perspective than many of the other Manson books that are out there. And he did. What I really like is Marlon goes through his career and kind of what led him to his interest in the Manson case, how then that developed into ultimately him talking to Charles Manson over the phone and then meeting him in person. And it's really great because when he gets to meet Charles and even his phone conversations with him, you can tell he processes it very differently because of his experience from his professional career. And I really, really dig that. So what this book brings that is different is Charles Manson Now is a critical dissection of what happened 41 years ago when Manson family members stormed the Polanski estate and murdered five people, among them one of America's most beautiful beloved actresses, Sharon Tate. This book is also a collage of Manson's own writing, a poetic, ironic, and disturbing account of his universe from his childhood to his time in the 8 by 12 prison cell where he is condemned to stay forever. It is Charles Manson, uncensored, unedited, in his own words, now. Obviously, this book was written several years ago before Charles Manson had passed away because the case is now over 50 years old and Manson passed away in 2017. So this book was written before that, but that does not take away from any of the information in this book. Again, if anybody who is into the Manson case is also really into psychology, you have to read this book. Marlon does a phenomenal, phenomenal job in going over this. And he brings, again, a different perspective because of his work in the field. So Charles Manson Now by Marlon Marinek. Definitely check that out. The second book of my book recommendations, actually it'll be book number two, three, and four. And I'll explain why, because they're connected. These books were recommended to me by um, my friend Paul from the Paul cast, who is also my Manson Saga discussion panel co-host. He got into the reporter who knew too much, Dorothy Kilgallen. Somehow I had never heard of her. And when he recommended these three books, of course, he's never, never steered me wrong in book recommendations. So I had to order all three of them. And they were amazing. And I've actually gone on to recommend them to other people. So this first book in this is The Reporter Who Knew Too Much, The Mysterious Death of What's My Line TV Star in Media Icon Dorothy Kilgallen by Mark Shaw. And this goes over Dorothy's life and what led her into her career and then ultimately led to her murder or suicide, depending on how you view it. To me, it was very clearly a murder. But as we know, sometimes detectives and police tend to cover things up. So you definitely get that with this. There's a lot of angles and her death is still a huge mystery to so many people. And Mark Shaw ultimately is just trying to bring answers to Dorothy and to basically give her the respect and dignity of solving and putting out there what really happened to her. Mark Shaw has also done some really, really great live speeches about his books and his research that are on YouTube. Definitely check those out. I don't have links for them offhand. I know Paul had sent me them and I'd watched them. One he gave at a, uni I believe a university and it was so good. So good. Um, if I can find it, I'll link it. But if I can't, I'm sure you guys can just Google it and find it on YouTube. But again, so this first book, The Reporter Who Knew Too Much, The Mysterious Death of What's My Line TV Star and Media Icon Dorothy Kilgallen by Mark Shaw. The second book within this series is 
Denial of Justice. And this one, again, by Mark Shaw, is Dorothy Kilgallen, Abuse of Power in the Most Compelling JFK Assassination Investigation in History. So this book goes a little bit deeper. It does give a little bit of a nutshell recap about Dorothy Kilgallen and what led to her death because it's relevant to this. And basically it was because viewed as her having information about the JFK assassination and that she was going to come forward with that information. She was a go-getter, a woman who could not be stopped in regards to her reporting. And even though she had gotten threats, she didn't care. She was going to come forward and just give all the information she had. And she mysteriously died just before that was about to happen. So a little bit of a cover up. Gee, I don't know. But this book definitely goes more into that and about JFK and his assassination. So a lot of people are familiar with that, especially those of us in the United States who are familiar with the JFK assassination. This gives a bit of a different perspective. Yes, it covers the story of JFK's assassination that we already know, but why? And Mark goes into that a bit more because of the research Dorothy had done about that. So definitely check this out because it gives a bit of a twist on history, history as we've been taught. So again, this is Denial of Justice, Dorothy Kilgallen, Abuse of Power, and the Most Compelling JFK Assassination Investigating uh, Investigation in History by Mark Shaw. The third book in this, again, that Paul had recommended, and this one was my favorite, Collateral Damage. And this one is The Mysterious Steps of Marilyn Monroe and Dorothy Kilgallen and The Ties That Bind Them to Robert Kennedy and the JFK Assassination by Mark Shaw. This is a pretty big book, I'm not going to lie. It is almost 600 pages. It's an easy read that when you start it, you're not going to want to stop and put it down. And it's, it flows really well. So you're able to cover a lot and not get too tied up. So this book, again, since it's part of the series, briefly covers Dorothy Kilgallen, the JFK assassination. But this brings in um, Robert Kennedy and Marilyn Monroe and Marilyn Monroe's death. And then Robert Kennedy's tie to all of them. This is so, so good. I can't recommend it enough. I would really suggest getting all three and going in this order because it really just makes sense and it makes everything flow a lot easier. You don't necessarily have to though, because again, it will recap a little bit about each. And that's what something Paul had told me too. Um, but I love to read, so of course I wanted to order all three. If you were only going to read one, um, but again, because it's just based on your interests and personal interests, you might be drawn to just the one on Dorothy Kilgallen. But I would personally recommend Collateral Damage because it has everything. Dorothy Kilgallen, JFK, Marilyn Monroe, and Robert Kennedy. I admit I did not, I, knew, I know Robert Kennedy, but I didn't know a ton about him. And to have read this, I was like, wow, okay, this is who we're dealing with here. Um, and it goes a lot into the, um, the Kennedy family history as well, which... Um, I didn't know a lot of those details because I, it was before my time and I just didn't, never really looked that far into it, but now I'm obsessed. So definitely check this out. Collateral Damage, The Mysterious Deaths of Marilyn Monroe and Dorothy Kilgallen and the Ties That Bind Them to Robert Kennedy and the JFK Assassination by Mark Shaw. The fifth and final book tonight in my book recommendations is... The Big Goodbye, Chinatown in the Last Years of Hollywood by Sam Lawson. This book was recommended to me again by Paul and I believe my other Manson um, Saga Discussion panel co-host, Mr. Beckham. They had each got this book and so the three of us were reading it. And there is a little bit of a tie to the Manson case because it deals with Roman Polanski and the making of the movie Chinatown. But it's only slight. This goes 
a lot into behind the scenes of who was involved with this movie and behind the scenes a lot of Roman Polanski. Uh, we all know who Roman Polanski is and essentially what he has done and why he's no longer living in the United States and now lives in another country. This captures once his wife Sharon Tate was murdered, kind of his behavior, if you will, and actions after. And it was shocking. It was just shocking to read because it's so, it was so public and so covered up, but also not so covered up. It was one of those Hollywood's best kept secrets, if you will, that everybody knew. And it was, I'll just put it bluntly, Roman Polanski has always had a thing for young underage girls. And this book goes into that. And one of the quotes in here, um, I don't have the page, so I don't 100% quote me on it, is something to the effect of like that young girls just find him so, so handsome and so attractive and that young girls are drawn to him. It was something to that effect. And I was just like, what the heck? Again, that's Roman Polanski. So, but I have not seen, honestly, have not seen the movie Chinatown. So I can't relate on all this background um, of the movie because I have not seen the book, but that's okay. I didn't have to have seen it to, to, to follow the book. So if you haven't seen the movie, that's okay. You can still read this and follow along rather easily and still get something really great out of this. So again, The Big Goodbye, Chinatown in the Last Years of Hollywood by Sam Watson. So that is part three of my ongoing book series of recommendations. So thank you for sticking around for another episode of Danny After Dark. Do you have any questions or comments on any of the books I recommended? Well, leave a question down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Do you have any book recommendations? Please leave them down below. I love to read. As I've said before, I'm a total book nerd. And after my last part one and part two, you guys made some incredible book recommendations that have not gone unnoticed. And a lot of them are in my Amazon cart, just ready to go for the holidays. So again, any recommendations, leave them down below. Other than that, do you have any suggestions for any upcoming Danny After Dark episodes that you'd like me to cover? Well, leave it down below and you may see it featured in an upcoming episode. Until next time, remember, we don't live in darkness. Darkness lives in us.